Hey there everyone, it's Kelsey again. I'm really sorry I haven't been on YouTube lately. I've been taking care of a lot of personal stuff, so yeah, I mean, my life is kind of in a rut, but you don't need to hear anything about my life, so I'll just keep it out of you guys out of it. Anyway, today I'm going to review a season 5 episode called Sing a Song of Patrick. Yes, this episode came out in 2007, and I never saw it when it aired that year. I only just got around to watching it recently this month, and apparently when I watched it for the first time, it really, you know, made me laugh quite a bit. Apparently it's one of those Spongebob episodes done right, I think. And, you know, Mr. Enter says, make the audience less annoyed than the audience in the actual episode, and that's exactly what they did. And... Some of the visuals were cool too. The be I think the best effect was SpongeBob's pineapple peeling off. I thought the visuals there were really cool. That was, that was the cool part of it. The funny visuals were the, you know, mom and SpongeBob's mom and dad on the frame just flipping it around. They turn from like neutral to angry, and SpongeBob mom just angrily flips the thing around because she hates the song. Apparently, SpongeBob might like the song, but. He, I'm guessing he doesn't, and he's only, you know, liking the song to kind of put on a facade that, hey, Patrick's my best friend. And, you know, this is actually before Patrick started getting a lot of character to realm and started becoming a major jerk. He was a little, yes, he was a jerk at the beginning, but no, that's his jerkiness at the beginning was nowhere as near as jerky as he was in like season six and on. Pat, even in pre-movie episodes of Spongebob, for the first movie at least, um, Patrick was, a, in fact, a jerk. Yeah, I mean, and I'm with stupid. But anyway, I thought it was cleverly set up. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yes, um, the, the episode was kind of slow at the beginning, but, you know, I liked it. I especially like the part where Patrick was writing his song. I mean, that really, and his quote to Squidward, that's the creative process, my friend. And how he had to, like, struggle to get his brain working. Oh, man, that was such a funny. And the fact that his brain was more like, you know, it was like a gear factory. And rather than just, you know, hey, no, like, bzz. And of course, his brain, when it gets working, it makes a terrible smell. And it traveled all the way out SpongeBob's window where he was writing his song into Squidward's house. And Squidward's like, what's that awful smell? And of course, Patrick responds, that's the creative thinking process, my friend. Because he had his brain working and, you know, even when his brain is working and functioning, he can't write good songs. And apparently it takes a lot for Patrick to become, like, thinking. It just goes to show you how, you know, stupid he is. And it, and it takes a lot for him to be smart. Of course we saw him be smart in um, Patrick's smart pants. But um, that's only because he got brain coral. That just shows, makes you go to shows to make, goes to show that it may, when Patrick doesn't have brain coral, it really gets him, you know, he really has to push his mind. And I think it's funny. The visuals. And apparently the icky thing in the envelope. That I think was like. That was the broccoli. I thought it was like something disgusting. But really. Okay broccoli you win. As the last part of his lyrics. And it was so funny. Just seeing the rockers. Just literally. And you know that expression. This really is going to kill, it's going to kill us. And it was literal that time. You know, because Patrick's writing so bad. Even if it kills us. I mean, yes. Cartoons do do that, but. It's, that, oh, it's zany, cartoony, over-the-top gimmicks and gags in this episode really made it kind of above average. It is average, but a little bit above average. It's not, like, great. It's still good, though. I mean, yeah. This episode does a lot of things right. I mean, Squidward isn't tortured. This is before Squ 
SpongeBob and Patrick go to great lengths to torture Squidward and episodes like that sinking feeling, boating buddies, choir boys, Squid's visit. Oh my gosh. Um, season 6 and 7 had a lot of Squidward torture episodes in those two seasons. It was not pleasant to watch. There was, a, I think there was one in season 9, but Twi Squidward actually was tortured in Squid Baby, but also Ye Little Yellow Book, Squidward was tortured again, but at least he had a reason to because they made him unlikable. So yes. I'm reviewing Sing a Song of Patrick because I thought this episode, it's just an episode I haven't seen. Yeah, I mean, I might review Bubble Troubles because that episode, I absolutely hate it. Some of the associated production movie music, especially the part at the end where Spongebob's trying to get the air back. But really, it was, Bubble Troubles was just a very, very hard episode to sit through. Seeing Sandy go through, th go through a lot of pain. Yes, this is probably the first. I mean... This is not the first legit Sandy torture episode. The second Sandy torture episode after um, uh, someone's in the kitchen with Sandy. If you don't ca count Survival of the Idiots or they just ripped off her fur while she was hibernating. But at least she got back at Spongebob and Patrick at the end. So was clever writing. There was nothing that she wasn't able to get back at anyone after Plankton stole her fur. And yeah, Plankton, I don't think Plankton gets arrested. You know, actually, no, and since in the kitchen of Sandy, Plankton does not get arrested. Okay, why am I going off topic? Oh yeah, because I was going to say I was going to review Bubble Troubles, and like I said, I absolutely hate that episode. I mean, dislike. Kate's is a very strong word. I mean, I would have hatred for an episode like, whatchamacallit, <laughs> One Course Meal, A Pal for Gary, Pat Sitter Pat. And yes, everybody else hates those episodes just as much as I do. It's no surprise that people have already torn Pet Sitter Pat, One Course Meal, Pal for Gary apart. Namely, Mr. Enter and Pie Guy Rules. Yeah. So, yeah. I think they, the writers on Spongebob made a rookie mistake hiring Richard Purcell as a writer, you know Richard Purcell had a bad writing track record of writing episodes for Ren and Stimpy adult party cartoon. So you can expect the same things to be in Spongebob. If Richard Purcell is just not a very good writer in my opinion. No offense, but he doesn't... I mean, if he, if he, you know if he failed in adult party cartoon, he's, he failed in Spongebob. He might have been a part of some cartoons and written some good stuff. I'm not sure. But, you know, he didn't, I don't think he wrote Sing a Song of Patrick. No, as a matter of fact, Zeus Serva, Casey Alexander, Doug Lawrence, and Richard Purcell didn't write Sing a Song of Patrick. I don't think, I, I think it was three other writers. And, yeah, those, those people, um, whatchamacallit, didn't write Sing a Song of Patrick. I might have to look at the title, the names for the episode after the title card. But I'm pretty sure it wasn't it was neither of those four um, writers. Yeah, I mean, sorry I'm taking a lot of pauses and breaths, but um, I might have to. I mean, yeah, I'm thinking about doing some SpongeBob talking, like how Mr. Krabs is a one-dimensional character, and you know how I feel about that, and I don't like it. So, yeah. I think I'm going to end my review theory. And overall, Pat, a Sing a Song of Patrick was kind of an Admiral episode. Not great by any stretch of the imagination, but just kind of good. A little bit above average. I mean, nothing outlandish, but it was still funny. And kudos to that cool pineapple peeling apart effect. I loved it. just loved how they handled that. Even though he destroyed Spongebob's house, the animation and visuals were really cool there. I'm sorry. Okay, so 
I hope you all enjoy, you know, listen to my review. And if you like my, co if I like my video, you could possibly, you should, I mean, if you really like it, you should possibly subscribe. I'm not asking to. It's if you really like my videos and like this video if you like it. So have a great day, everyone. And this is Kelsey out.